50,000 revenants. It sounds like a lot. And it sounds like a lot because it is a lot. I've been in this chunk, in these caves, for four months. I started with just a maple shortbow, but I've managed to secure three crossbows, all of which are definitely still in my possession, and five Tharaman scepters. But I'm still yet to receive a Vigorous Chain Mace. At a starting KC of 42,000, I'm already way past two times the drop rate to have one. So surely, surely, I will get one soon. Today, we take our Revenant kill count up to 50,000, as well as achieving several other long-term goals that we have in this Goliath of a chunk. Will I get the Chain Mace? Let's find out. Welcome back to Canopus Chunk. Oh, go on then. Just as I'm roasting Macca in the uh, in the CC chat, we're going to uh, grab ourselves this lamp from Count Check and get ourselves level 23 Slayer fun stuff. And the first drop of the video is an ancient statue at 2 million GP. Can we get anything second? I've never had like a back-to-back -back item before. That would be pretty cool. Might, might just kill this demon as well for funsies. Let's see if we can get two items on the ground. That would be quite fun, wouldn't it? Um, the two mill emblems aren't the rarest, but they're also not the most common. I think they're a one in sort of 3,000-ish. So slightly more common than a weapon, um, but not too much more common. So let's see if we can get anything here. Grab our emblem. Nothing from that fella. Right, let's go chuck that in the bank. Oh, <laughs> ancient crystal. Is this going to be yet another video of just getting the same dupes that we've had a million times? I really, really hope not. Cause I just, I just want to get some new stuff. I like getting the weapons. Like even if they're dupe weapons, I quite like getting them because they just look quite cool on the ground, and it's nice to have a collection of them. And in theory, they're worth a load of ether in the future. Ah, oh, but the ancient crystals, they can get in the bin. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at the lag. Wow. Uh, 100 range. Still no chain mace, but uh, in interesting that I've got virtual levels turned on. I never normally have them turned on, but I guess that's pretty interesting. Nice. <laughs> this guy got on us and then immediately splashed every single bind. <laughs> I, was, I was like, just filled up my looting bag, went to leave the caves. Ran into that guy with like hardly any food and he splashed like five binds in a row to like go over here. <laughs> right, 13 seconds to the update. I reckon there's probably quite a high chance that I kill this thing but don't get to pick up the drop. If we see the drop and it's a chain mace, I'll cry. Okay, looks like we're not even going to get to see the drop. <laughs> okay, we appear to have walked into a pretty severe graphical bug. And I'm pretty sure it's actually sort of real because if I stick it on W117HD, it's still broken. And regular GHD and vanilla and region locker. So hopefully if we log out, it will fix it. Oh, we're flying already. We are up to 43,000 kills, which is pretty crazy. If we go drop rate from here... We're getting 60,000 because the drop rate to get the mace is one in about 17,000. So I should have it two and a half times over already. Uh, but that doesn't really count for anything. And it's only from now that, you know, drop rates are important to me. So hopefully we can get lucky. Hey, here we go. We've got a 75 agility PK. -er. Um, don't catch a freeze, don't catch a freeze. Yes! <laughs> Your 75 agility means nothing when you're as bad as you. <laughs> this guy's trying to kill me and he's got no run energy. <laughs> That's my favourite PK attempt ever, the guy with no run energy. What an idiot. <laughs> oh, 8 mil effigy, yet more pink text on the ground that I thought that I thought <laughs> was something else. Oh, it does look good though, doesn't it? 8 mil GP, we take those. What's the... Uh... 
That's our seventh one. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, I guess we take those. That was... Uh, I would not be surprised if I still had the other one in the chat. That is so funny that I just got a 16 mil emblem as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there it is. Kind of a strong ancient effigy, 8 mil. Lol. <laughs> Literally can't stop getting funds. That's so funny. Right. 16 mil. There we go. <laughs> Things we love to see. So we are definitely eating good in the Revenant Caves. An 8 mil emblem and a 16 mil emblem. You can't ask for much more than that. However, me and my family have also been eating very well in real life too. And the reason for that is HelloFresh. I've been using HelloFresh weekly for about two years. And the reason for that is that it makes dinner times simple, easy, and crucially cheap. Having two kids can make dinner times a huge faff, but HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients and easy to follow recipes make it extremely easy for me to eat well, quickly, and without ending up arguing with a three-year-old. HelloFresh have also made the decision to sign up even easier, as for new subscribers they are giving away a free breakfast item per box for life. So that's another meal that you no longer have to think about and can spend more time unlocking chunks or going dry at the Revenants. Start your subscription by following the link in the top of my description and using my code FRAYFREE to receive your free breakfast item for life and also support me and my family. Thank you. Oh, we are so, so rich now. So we've got, what, 96 mil just in that stack with another 48 mil just in that stack. So we're talking 144 mil. In just those two items there. That is nuts. Do you want to see something quite interesting? Look at the loot that I've got here, right? Um, so from the demons, we've got 17 magic seeds in nearly 9,000 kills. From the cyclops, we've got 34 magic seeds, twice as many in 4,500 kills. So twice as many seeds in half as many kills. That is bizarre RNG, isn't it? Cannot stop getting the useless ancient crystals. Not only can I not use them now, but I'll pretty much never be able to use them unless I get all the way over to Relica to get the uh, to get Caldergrim to get the building supplies. So bleak, a unique, but not one that we want. Hopefully, we can get something good soon. It is a sad day. We have ran out of coins, which isn't good news because we need coins to enter the Rev Cave. So not the end of the world because we obviously have a lot of money uh, banked, but I don't want to be like alchemy stacks particularly, and I do need to turn some of these in, which is sad because I wanted to keep the stacks going, but it is what it is. Um, you need to turn them in on a Bounty Hunter world, so I'm just going to go do that now. Hopefully I don't get PK'd. I'm thinking what I might do is just take one of each. Um, and see how we get on. Hopefully well. I have locate... Oh, fuck, I can't get in. Oh, I was about to say I've located the emblem trader, which I have. He's at Pyrefiends in this world, but... I can't even enter the caves because i got no money. Uh, um, cool, so what I'll do is I will... I'll have to alk a pair of dragon plate legs, I guess. Um... That's probably the least damaging to the stacks of stuff we've got. Um, and then that will give me enough money to get in. Let's just do that real quick. Okay, there's 162k. We'll chuck that in the bank and we'll go back for a second attempt. But we will regen our run before we do so. Okay, the Emblem Trader is in the quads room up here. There he is. Let's just trade all these in. Is it as easy as using them on him? Yes, we'll take our 31 mil. We'll run away on this account and log out. Oh, and there's a maledictus right ahead of us. <laughs> we'll have to hot world. Oh, okay, we made it out safely. That will never not be nail biting, but we got our 31 mil, so we can kick back and relax now. We shouldn't have to trade in any more emblems unless we go, <laughs> you know, 150,000 dry. Um, but... Nice little cash stack to have and a lot more banked besides.
This may very well be the fattest non Amulet of Avarice trip I've ever had. Look at this. Over one mil in the looting bag. Pretty big. And then we've also got the double dragon plate legs in the invent with uh with some other stuff as well. Pretty big. 1.4 mil trip. We take those. And here is 15 million range XP. Only 61k until level 90 hit points as well. Oh, those levels are really getting high. The post-99 XP is getting higher and higher by the moment as well. Hopefully, we can get it before too long. Here we go. Level 90 hit points. We did get there. Half a million hit points XP since we started this video, which is quite a lot. I think it's probably more than that. I think I might have started on 88. I'm not sure. Um, but... We're looking, as the boys are saying here, very healthy. Will we get to 91 before we get the chain mace? <sighs> Hopefully not. I reckon this is a bot that's gone uh, AFK or something. Should I try and kill it? Yes. Go on. Broken bot? Yes! <laughs> we killed one! What do we get from him? Oh, we got the avarice as well. Look at that. Things you love to see. Oh, that's very funny. Uh, I hope this guy doesn't attack me. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> oh, that was funny. So free. So last night whilst on mobile, I got level 87 agility. Which means we've only got two levels to go until we've got the agility chunk goal, which is kind of crazy, to be honest. 847k XP to go. Goes quite quickly, really, because I only do this on mobile, so I'm not really paying too much attention whilst I'm doing it. Yeah, it's been a decent grind. I thought it would be by far my least favourite, but it's actually been quite good. So, onwards and upwards, and hopefully we get the mace soon, then we can just finish off the rest of the skilling goal super quick, and get to rolling again. Oh, ancient statuette, not too bad. Not sure if I just lost my skull just then after getting it, or I just got it unsculled. But we take the two mil, not too bad. Okay, relatively big moment for the account coming up. I haven't actually banked that two mil emblem yet because we were pretty close, about a dozen kills away from 45,000 revenants. Hopefully, hopefully we can get it before 50k. I mean, surely. Um, yeah, 45,000. Sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Well over two and a half times dry of the mace. Whew. Come on. Ooh, you don't get that too often. The double dragon plate legs. But I've already got the double dragon plate skirt in the looting bag. Things you love to see. I think that's another bot that's broken. If it stays there and the prayer goes off, then that reckon then I reckon it's smited and I'm gonna kill it on this account. They're so weird, they they break quite a lot to be honest. Oh, the old one mil totem. It's been a while since we've had one of those, but they add up in the bank. I think we've had something like 20 something now, have we? Uh, yeah, 22 of those. 22 mil just from that. Crazy. Right, it's a pretty big moment for us. Come and take a little peek into this bank where we are going to have 100 sets of dragon plate legs. I really didn't think, when I was sat on 40 and I had two weapons already, I really didn't think we'd ever get here. But here we are, 100 sets of dragon plate legs. Will we hit the 1,000 sets of rune plate legs at some point? Hopefully not. But I can't guarantee anything because I never thought I'd hit the 100 dragon plate legs. What's kind of crazy is that the 16 mil emblem drop used to be 100 dragon plate legs um, back in the day. So... Imagine if it had been, I'd, I'd have like 900 sets of dragon plate legs by now, which would be nuts. Nice, just found ourselves a uh, rogue young impling and pulled ourselves up a uh, a bowstring. Things that we love to see, that's a... Oh, so let's, let's grab this baby imp as well and see if we can get ourselves a silver bar. That would be a lot less likely, one in 100, but a ball of wool. Relatively useful, actually. 
Oh, go on. Another young impling. Can we pick ourselves up a bowstring again? That would be nice. No, but a tuna will do. That will be useful for us doing our agility. So, I just had a guy get on me with a, uh, what's it called? Ursine chain mace, right? And I believe either the special attack or the normal attack that drains your agility. Um, so it drained me down to like 48 agility and I couldn't escape over the obstacles. And then I've hopped worlds and it's just took my agility back up to 87. It's got rid of the drain. Does anyone know why that is? Because I swear normally if you get drained by stuff, it stays across world hops. That seems really strange to me. I don't know if that's different or I'm just an idiot. So uh, let me know. Lol, I just got back to back magic seeds. Five magic seeds, one message in between, and another four magic seeds. I feel like I should probably bank with nine magic seeds on me. <laughs> That's so cool. I've not seen that happen before. You know, they're like one in at least a couple thousand to get magic seeds as well. So the RNG on that is way worse than getting a chain mace. So are we going to get every single combination of stupid RNG before we get chain mace? Probably. Oh, there we go. Just hitting level 101 range. <sighs> the milestones are getting dull now. Come on, let's just get it soon. Fuck off! You're fucking kidding me! God, this has got to be a dream. Nothing this bad could ever happen in reality. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> no! Oh! You are fucking joking me. Oh my god. Six. Six scepters. Zero maces. Fucking stop it. Oh my god. <sighs> oh. Oh. What do I even do with that? Come on! <laughs> oh, let's chuck it into the bank then. Five in the stack. What's a sixth one? <laughs> That's mental. What are they? Someone tell me the odds of getting six scepters and zero maces, please. I'm not very good at maths. Well, I'm good at mental maths. Well, I mean, probably not based on what you guys have seen. Look at that though, but yeah, I can't do proper math. So tell me the odds of getting six scepters and zero chain maces, because I bet they're not great. 16 mil range XP. Oh, that's pretty big. I just thought of something that might be able to get me a decent amount of food on this account. Um, The can of fish shop, right? The meat shop, it sells a raw shark, but it only sells one. So the thought of having to like hop um, you know, every single world to buy one shark is a bit grim. But if I could sell to it from my main account, like, you know, buy one raw shark on this account, sell one from my main account, buy it on this account, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, I should be able to buy stuff quite quickly. My only issue is that it might be an Iron Man only shop. Uh, like, as in, it might only share the stock between different Iron Men, not with mains. Not the end of the world. I just have to find someone with a load of raw sharks on an iron account that didn't want one. And they do exist. And I used to be in Valiant. So, you know, I do know there are people that, that fished a bunch of minnow back in the day that might be willing to help me out. Um, so it'd be really nice to just get my hands on a few thousand shark, for example. Um, and I don't really see why that couldn't work. Um, but we shall have to see. This is incredibly interesting. So when my alt is stood there, these bots are just frozen. They don't attack anything. They don't do anything. They're just stopped. But if I log that account out, I'm willing to bet these will all just attack. Oh. Guess he fancies killing a bot? I bet if I log out, this one will attack one of these uh, things. So let's give that a go. Yep. As soon as I logged out, it started attacking. That is... Bizarre. I'm very confused right now. Oh, there we go. Just explaining to this guy what one chunk is, and we got ourselves another two mil emblem. He was like, are you rich? I was like, I guess. I guess I'm rich. 
Uh, I think I got about 650 mil. I'll tell him that. Uh, we'll just skedaddle over that two mil emblem. Don't really fancy losing it. 2.3 in the bag. Not too bad. Right, I realised on an Iron Man account you can't sell to understocked shops, so our only bet is if that it's shared with an, with Iron Man, uh, with non Iron Man. So I've got my main account there. Hopefully, he will be able to sell the shark to the shop. And oh my god! Oh my god! As if this works. I'm doing it super inefficient at the moment because because I haven't got the client set up for it or a left click set but oh my god I can actually just do this for food with a main account <gasps> that discovery is insane so I mean this is huge because not only is this like amazing food for me but it makes the 99 cooking chunk that I could roll like as my next chunk actually positively doable oh my god because i mean these are 210 uh cooking xp each right so even though i can't um i can't i can't um get them particularly quickly they're like I'll, and i'll burn quite a lot of them this is like a lot of XP. I mean, this is like nearly 5,000 potential cooking XP, like right there. I could do that, run over to the bank, chuck them all in, and then I could cook them all on a range that I've got somewhere. So I know I've got a range in Port Phasmatis. I might even have a better one by now. Uh, maybe Varrock? That looks like it's probably slightly closer. Uh, they're pretty close. I don't know. But either way, we can cook them on a range for a slightly better cooking uh, experience. I think. Um, oh my god. That's massive. Where are my sharks? Have I got any sharks at the moment? Oh my god, that's amazing. I'm actually in awe. I could do that. What? Oh my god. The possibilities. This is nuts. I actually cannot believe I can sell sharks to myself. I'm not going to do it now because I've got to jump off and uh, go and have some dinner, but... Oh my god, that is absolutely crazy. That's just infinite food because I've got like infinite money as well. I think the sharks in that shop are like 200 and, or like 300 coins or something. I mean, I've got 30 mil just in cash from like just some random emblems I decided to throw in. I think if I liquidated all my emblems, I'd have about 200 mil. Um, so 200 mil would be what, like 600,000 sharks? <laughs> so... Yeah, that would is that comfortably ninety nine cooking? I think so, because it's what two hundred. Yeah, sixty thousand sharks would be two hundred. Would be uh, ninety nine cooking. So, yeah, I could easily do that. Oh my god, no, that can't be right. It can't be sixty thousand sharks ninety nine cooking. What two hundred times sixty thousand is? Uh, hundred. Yeah, it. Is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, so sixty ish thousand sharks for ninety nine cooking. Um, so I could do that pretty easily. I mean, I'm not just going to do that proactively, but I mean, for now, though, I can definitely just get as many sharks as I want and need for whatever grinds that I do. I was kind of like worried that I'd have to do um, barrows in uh, PvP worlds if I ever got it or like any other sort of big PVM content, because obviously this sort of food, this that's what I'm doing at the moment, right? I only do this in PvP worlds. I'm not at the moment because I'm only just doing this before I go in. But if I go to PvP worlds, I'm kind of at risk of dying and can't take really good gear. But like at Barrows, kind of what I'm picturing now is I can just have like an invent of sharks. I can take a couple of my blighted super restores with me. Um, so I could use like, you know, Torag's body, Torag's legs, Thurman's scepter, and then I could pretty much just tank all the brothers. And then I could like hop to PvP worlds as and when needed to like use super stores to get my prayer back up, because. But what I was thinking before is oh, I'm gonna have to use this food while I'm doing barrows, which is fine, but I'd have to do it in PvP worlds, and I just think that's slightly annoying and risky, and would just be annoying if I lost any ether doing that. But if I can just get unlimited sharks, I'm laughing.
This is huge. This is a massive discovery. Okay, it is the morning after the night before. I did some whilst I was on mobile and did a little bit of fletching at the bank. But that is level 88 agility. One level to go until we've completed the biggest skilling grind in this chunk. We have been absolutely gaming to knock that out. That is, that's unreal, that is. I cannot wait to have that done, because that's probably going to be the highest agility requirement we're going to need for a long, long time, so it'll be really nice to have that finished. Oh my god, 88 agility, that's kind of nuts. And we are up to 46,000 kills, 9 rev weapons, 0 maces. Ah, soon, soon. Oh, we got a PK with an agility level on us, and we're quite low on restores, which is a bad thing. Can we get away with the classic run around the rock? Maybe? Maybe? Go on. <laughs> I hate Venom so much. If I was just poisoned, I'd like I'd stick this out, but Venom is just the worst and most annoying thing. And I always have to run, and I'm already low run from escaping that PK, so I'm going to walk most of the way back. That is depressing. I'm just going to demonstrate briefly how bad this situation is with the bots. By just, I'm just going to log out on this account. I'm going to leave it a max of five minutes and see how many bots show up. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's give that a go. Okay, so 45 seconds in based on the login timer, we've already got two. Uh, are any more going to show up? Let's find out. And there is a third. So within one minute, we've got three bots logged into my world. Like, imagine how undoable this would be. Four! There you go. So there's a fourth one. Uh, looks like that's part of the same farm as those guys because it logged away. Um, if it, it, The most I see kind of log in is about five at a time. Uh, maybe we'll get a few more before, before anything uh, happens. Um, how crazy is that, though? So we had a couple more log in, but none of them stayed. So yeah, it took, what, 45 seconds, 50 seconds for three bots to show up and just basically kill this entire world for me. And then when we log in on the alternative account, so this is what it'd be like if you were just a normal player trying to do this. And then you log in on the other account and all three of them just scarper straight away. How outrageous is that, that that is just allowed to go on? I bet, I bet you so much money if you, look, if you could look up the Revenant cases of those bots. It would be an absurd amount. I mean, just look, look, look at all this. It is carnage. It is ridiculous. I mean, I'm so thankful that the DDS makes um, the more teleport away because if it didn't, my God, this would be the single worst grind in the world ever. Right. The food stash has been pretty much exhausted down to 10 manta and 20 crown ones. Not much I can do about the crown ones, but I can definitely get myself some sharks so we obviously discovered that we can buy raw sharks from our main account excellent news what i'm going to go and do now is try and uh metaphize that metarize it metarize it and sort of find out how many per hour i can buy how much that equates to in sort of food per hour with my burn rate and then also how much cooking xp per hour that tops out at because if I roll the 99 cooking chunk, this will probably be my best bet to get it. But otherwise, it's going to be excellent for food. So let's go and do that. Okay, so we are in the window. Um, this is kind of the screen that I'm looking at. But I've also got my other account set up underneath like this. Now, I've got always on set up on the chunk account. Uh, like always on top set up on the chunk account. So even if I click on this window here to sell a shark, uh, it will still... Um, remain on top so i can just in theory go one two one two one two one two like that so we're going to see how many sharks we can bank in a given period of time and then calculate how much cooking xp and food that translates to so let's log in start our login timer from zero and give it a go okay that is 10 minutes i've accidentally aggroed this werewolf so i'm just going to re-log into a different world to bank the shark um I think it's going to be quite good, you know. So I started with 58 in the bank because I fucked up the first invent. And we're now looking at 409. So that means we banked, what, 351? 
in 10 minutes, which equates to uh, 351 times 6 would be 2100-ish per hour. <laughs> that is excellent news. So that means we're banking two th nearly 2,000 sharks per hour. That is nuts. And that, if you equate it to cooking XP, is what, 210 XP per shark, I believe? So, you know, 400, more than 400,000 cooking XP per hour. Um, not obviously getting it, but banking it at the least. Um, so that means that I could bank all the sharks for 99 cooking in less than 30 hours of this. So if we roll that 99 cooking chunk, that's really not that bad. Um, I suspect maybe there's a chance that doing the salmon might be quicker, although I guess it might bank more cooking XP per hour, but actually cooking it would take a lot longer. So probably the sharks is the best, and the sharks are actually useful, which is nice. So yeah, that's huge. They only cost 221 coins per shark as well, which is basically nothing. So if I times that by the 60,000 that we need for 99 cooking, that means it would cost me about 13.2 mil, which sounds like a lot, but, I mean, that's just a random cash stack that we got from trading in a handful of emblems. We have almost 200 mil in pure liquid cash, just in emblems, never mind if we out stuff. So 13.2 mil for 99 cooking is really quite light work, to be honest. So, yeah, big, big, big discovery, and having access to decent food is just really really good for us going forward decent non-wilderness food as well which is which is really good for if we get anything like theater of blood or barrows or obor like even getting like obor and uh what's it would be a struggle because other than these sharks i don't really have access to anything useful so that's big that is a very big discovery so I have managed to bank 700 raw sharks before I got bored. I guess that's probably not a great sign for uh, doing it in the future. Um, but it was pretty easy. Um, and I'm going to go cook some at Port Phasmatis now and just see what the cooking XP per hour is there. I think probably what I'd actually do if I was doing this for the long term to get 99 cooking... Um, is I would probably cook them in the bank. So I'd either use this out, uh, alternative account or a different one to just set fires in that building and sort of cook them as I went. Um, I imagine that would probably be the best overall, but this, I guess, is the more chill method because I can do the buying whilst I'm on PC and then the cooking whilst I'm on mobile normally. Um, so that would kind of be the best way to spend my time, I guess. Um, so I think that is probably how I'd end up doing it, even if it's not strictly the most efficient. So it'd be nice to see what the cooking XP per hour is cooking these sharks. And it'll also be nice to use these sharks this evening when I'm on mobile to get some agility XP because burning through my blighted manta rays was not very fun. Uh, but now we should be in a bit of a better spot. So let's go cook ourselves some sharks. Oh, this brings back some good memories cooking on this range. Oh. Throwback to what, episode four would be the one? I mean, I was cooking raw meat in that one, not sharks, so it's a big upgrade. I do wonder what my burn rate is going to be on these. Um, that will be interesting to see. Um, doesn't look too bad based on the first first bit, so hopefully it stays that way. Um, but yeah, 210 XP per one, that's huge. 20 health per shark. Absolutely crazy. So hopefully... This works out quite well, and we get quite a lot of XP per hour, and, you know, I can I can sit back and relax a little bit if we get the 99 cooking chunk. I'll tell you what was quite nice about this as well, because I used to one-tick cook the meat um, to get good XP per hour, so I was cooking an invent really quickly, um, so I'd run out of run energy between, and also now my agility level is much higher as well. I think when I was doing that, I was, what, must have been 71 agility, and now I'm 88. So I actually don't, I regen pretty much all of my run uh, just doing this. So I'm not running out of run energy, which is so nice because I used to all the time when I was doing my initial 80 cooking grind, but no longer. Oh, this is so good. So I'm getting 165k XP per hour cooking like this. 
Um, if I were to have a higher cooking level, which I obviously would get on the way to level 99, um, that burn rate would go drastically down. So my thought is probably averaged out between level 80 and 99. We're probably looking at about 190 to 200 kxp per hour. Say we'd be generous and give it the 200 kxp per hour, 11 mil xp. We're talking 55 hours to get uh, 99 just on the cooking of the sharks, which is not too bad. 30 hours to, uh, to buy all the sharks and then another uh, 55 to cook them all. We're talking about 85 hours for a 99 grind, which, you know, if I put all my time into per day, I would be able to knock out in probably a week, maybe slightly longer than that. So, yeah, that is by no means a bad chunk to get anymore. I am very, very excited to get it because having 60,000 sharks in the bank would be pretty nice for uh, some of the future grinds we're likely to get. So, in terms of the burn rate, we're burning quite a lot. We burned 78 out of, I mean, how many actual cooked ones do we have? 173. So, yeah, we're burning about two-thirds at the moment, uh, maybe slightly less, about 30%. Which is quite a lot, but that should go down over time. There's not much more I can do other than just cooking it on a range. I don't have access to cooking gauntlets or anything like that. But it's not too bad. It'll only get better. But crucially, 173 sharks. It would take me a long time to get 173 blighted manta ray from, uh, from uh, what's it, from the Rev Cave. So, you know, being able to just grab an invent of sharks and head over to the agility course, that's pretty cool. Look at the amount of bots that keep logging in right now. This is insane. One, two, three. This is me live comment this. Four. This has been happening for about five minutes. Five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. How mental is that? That all happened in what? 15 seconds? 12. 13, 14, 15, pretty sure they're the same ones over and over again, but I've no idea why they keep logging in and logging out again. This is bizarre. I mean, what, there's at least half a dozen individual ones, though. Just look at this! That was, what, about 20 separate instances of bots logging in in about 30 seconds? That's nuts. That can't be normal for a video game. I'll tell you what, I always feel safest in the UK world, right? So this is my kind of analysis from sort of almost 500 hours in the uh, in the Rev Caves. The, uh, the UK world, that's where you're at your safest. There's not many PKers. If there are, they're okay, but there's not many of them. Go to the European world and you're totally fucked. There is like constant absolute raid bosses just like ready to take you out but not quite as many pks overall as the us world if you go to the us world at any time of day it is ridiculous usually they're all shit because mostly they've either got no money to risk or they don't have an agility level or anything like that so luckily they're not too bad but they are endless i mean there must be some relationship between like uh ethnicity is that what it is no not eth where you're from um there must be some um correlation between what country you're from and how often people go pking because i mean i know the u.s population love a bit of pvp in real life as well so maybe they love it in the game but honestly it is crazy. So I'm a UK only maxi. I don't know about the Australian world. I don't go there very often, but someone from Australia, let me know. Look at this. I log out for five seconds to hot worlds and look at the state of the caves. My God. <laughs> oh, they accidentally attacked that bot. So he's attacking me back. This is what happens if you attack them with range. They get on you like that for some reason, which is just annoying. Leave me alone. <laughs> Did you see how many bots that was, though? That was ridiculous. There's about eight on screen at one time. My God. I'll tell you what, I was getting like happy because my Twisted Bow on my um, on my main account was going up in value. It's like 1.7 bill now. The reason why is nothing to do with the Twisted Bow going up. The inflation these bots must bring in just from the shed loads of GP that you get from killing revenants must be 
insane. And I'm guessing if it's this crazy here, it's this crazy everywhere. Can we get this rev down before the update? And if we can and it drops something good, do we have time to grab it? No. <laughs> Oh, 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 we've rolled the table again, and we've got another Avarice. That is a fourth Avarice. At least that's more common than the Maces, so I don't feel too bad, and it's also at least useful for me. So I will grab that. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, will I use it and lose it? Probably at some point, but I'm not feeling that today. I at least want to keep it in the bank for a little bit. That'll be fun to use at some point. Uh, uh, I wish it was the mace. I really wish it was the mace, but you can't have it all. And the avarice is not too bad. Nearly 47,000 KC and we've only got four of them. So we're very dry in avarices overall. But I guess I can't complain too much. It would be nice to get the mace, but the avarice is the second best option. And there we are. Let's chuck the second one into the bank. Looks pretty nice in there. Next to my six scepters and my spare crawls bow. Come on. I believe. I just temporarily lost my skull and instantly got a dragon med helm for fuck's sake. My RNG can do literally anything except get a chain mace. Come on. Okay, I just got an emblem, one of the 500k ones, and a PK like, logged in on me like right as I grabbed it. So I had to run away. I think I can come back though. Yeah, he just logged in here, but he's gone now. I should probably go put that in the bank, shouldn't I? It'll be annoying. And also, look at that looting bag. That's a pretty decent looting bag. 1.5 mil trip. Not too bad. Oh, here we are with 47,000 kill count. Surely, surely we'll get something good again soon. I'd like another crossbow. It's been a long time since I've had a crossbow, and I feel like just seeing one on the floor would be second only to uh, getting ourselves a mace, but that would go some way to uh, redeeming my day that I've spent in the Rev Caves getting nothing. <laughs> Can we juke this guy out? It's probably going to be our only bet. Oh, we got him, and then here's the straps on the on the circle thing. Yes! <laughs> oh, the straps are just too good. Oh, nice. I just noticed we finally hit 20,000 law runes. That's something I don't really consider when I'm looking at the loot tab, but that is a massive amount that can be used for a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure that is enough, or very nearly enough, to get 99 construction, for example. Um, without having access to a house portal, so that could be relevant in the future. Okay, so we just died yet again in the Rev Caves. Fun times. There's no bots, right? Because they've just done a system update like earlier today. But that's actually worse because all the PKs are, are like are focusing me rather than killing bots. So that's annoying. But I've been doing some quick maths. So in this chunk, I need to get 87 fletching and 75 fire making. Um, We've got quite a lot of logs at the moment. We have nearly 11,000 U logs and 5.7k magic logs, which sounds like a lot, but that's not quite enough to get us. That's about 85 fletchings worth. But I've kind of been assuming I'm going to use those logs on fletching, but why? Fletching is a lot more AFK, and if we take a look at the XP charts over here, uh, you get 25 XP for fletching oak log, which is probably what I'll have to do to kind of fill up the gap of the logs that I need um, once I've used the ones that I get from the revenants. Um, if you go to U logs, though, you can see that you can um, fletch them for 75 XP if you do a U longbow. So a U log is three times as good as an oak log if you fletch it into a longbow. However, as we can see here, if we burn a U log, we get 202 XP uh, for burning it. Um, if we burn an oak log, though, we get 60 XP. So what that means is that where a U log is three times better for fletching, it's about 3.3 times better for burning. So overall, if I use my higher tier logs on fire making, I'm going to have a better time overall because overall I'll use less logs.
does that make sense hopefully so two i so say level 75 is we've got no skills there but level 75 is what just over a mil xp something like 1.2 mil xp so we're talking just under a million x a million fire making xp uh that we need to get in this chunk so that we can burn a magic log that is you know 2.2 mils for uh, uh fire making xp banked right there so there's no reason for me not to just knock out 75 fire making at some point so as soon as i'm finished with the agility grind which i'll hopefully have done this video uh, I'll probably just start on the fire making grind while I'm uh, AFK and I imagine the XP per hour will be quite high and that 75 flattering will f uh, 75 fire making will fly by but I just thought I'd give you some rationale on the maths oh <laughs> ancient crystal I like the RNG is kind of there to just get stuff it's just none of the right stuff no, the bots are back. It took how long did that take? Uh, just over five hours. Oh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? They're annoying, that's for sure. But I guess also they keep the PKs off me to an extent. Or do they attract more PKs by virtue of there being more accounts for PKs to attack, so they don't get bored? If you know what I mean. Interesting balance of probability there. Forty-five hundred laps of werewolf agility final stretch now 457 to go we are getting really close really really close i'm so happy to get this grind done right fuck it let's go for the avarice and just see how long we can uh, stick with it it's a decent time of day eight o'clock in the morning uk time so the americans should be asleep most europeans should either be asleep or going to work uh, the only real people to worry about would be like Australians where it would be evening for them, but they shouldn't be in UK worlds. So hopefully it'll be quite quiet and we can keep hold of this Avarice and really sort of pump those kills in because uh, the kills per hour goes up a lot when I'm using the Avarice. Oh, the old one mil totem classic. I don't even know if I'm going to be bothered to bank it. Oh, probably should. One day are we looking at that one mil like, oh, that's so good. I need one mil so badly. So... I should never take for granted the easy access I have to money. So yes, I'll bank it. Fine, fine. I've got Stella with me, so if you hear some shouting in the background, that's who it is. But I thought I might just try and kill this thing. I've got the Avarice on, I've got the crossbow, so my damage should be good. My only worry is if PKs show up, uh, which could go badly for me. Hopefully not, though. Someone else has just started attacking it with a crawl's bow, so I won't get any loot from it. So I guess I may as well just log out and wait till it dies. Okay, we got a proper PK on us. And he has 75 agility, so this is not a good moment. He's 117 combat, so we might be able to run, but I just... Okay, good, 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 good. That was decent, that was decent. No! Oh. Okay, right. What are we going to do here? It doesn't seem great. But he does have a Karassi, and Karassis are scary. So they can do that. Run, 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 run. Okay, we might have this. Just need to get the log out on the run around now. Okay, we should be good. Whew. Okay, we kept our avarice another day. Oh, 500k emblem. That could have been an 8 mil or a 16 mil. That's two of those quite recently, which is quite sad. Two of those like in a row aside from the 1 mil ones. So hopefully we can pick up some 2, 4s, 8s or 16s soon. Oh. I think I'm just going to stay though. I don't really care if I lose 500k. I'd be way more bothered about my avarice. So <laughs> yeah, it's hardly a big deal. I'm just in a bit of a test as well. I'm currently getting 43 kills per 10 minutes that I'm here. So that means that uh, our, our right now that we've got 99 range and the avarice and the crossbow is about 250 to 260 kills per hour. At the Revenant Demons. Obviously that's not including banking or PKs or anything like that. But undisturbed. 260 kills an hour. 
That is fucking crazy. Looks like we're getting crashed 29 minutes into our trip. Not too bad, we've made a thousand bots log, but you know, not much you can do about real players that don't respond. And I mean, maybe they're just a different kind of bot, who knows, but yeah, not ideal for me, unfortunately. But 29 minute trip. We'll take that. Let's see what the looting bag is after a 29 minute trip. I'm guessing it'll probably be quite good. Over the trip, we've been averaging 120,000 range XP per hour. Yeah, 2.1 mil in the trip after barely 30 minutes. Not too bad, I would say. If we can keep that up, we're going to be very, very rich by the time we finish this chunk. Hopefully, though, we'll get the mace before anything really catastrophic happens in terms of uh, KC. If I ever make it to 100,000, that is when I'm going to know that this account is fucking cursed. I mean, this is why the Avarice is just so nice, and I wish I didn't lose it on death. Um, getting those stacks of Addy bars, that's going to be so big in the future. I mean, they're, I think there's something like 70 XP each to like smith into stuff. Um, so that would be, what, like 3k smithing XP just right there from like one trip, another, you know, however much from the room bars. So, you know, it's like 10k XP per trip in smithing, 20k XP per hour banked from just purely incidental stuff. Um, being able to bank the Manta Rays is just massive as well. And just, yeah, their faster kills are so good. I'm just hoping I can keep hold of this Avarice as long as possible. Oh, we could actually be in trouble here. This guy's got piety and he just keeps fucking wrecking me. Yeah, we're fucked. He just keeps maxing me. No chance. No chance I get this. No chance. Fuck! Ah, that's such a shit way to you losing average that fucking quickly. Fuck you. Oh, I'm so sad about that second trip. Oh my god, fucking bitch, little fucking bitch boy. It's so annoying how easy they are to get and how easy they are to lose. Oh, in fact, how hard they are to get and how easy they are to lose. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Oh, fucking winds me up. I just really want to be done with this chunk already. I'm so bored of it. So, so bored of it. 47.5k. Just takes so fucking long, man. Oh, I saw the pink text and got a wee bit excited for a second because the Vigora's Mace is also like around about 4 mil GP value as well. So I got a bit, a bit twitchy there, but... Formal emblem, we'll take that. I just like seeing the pink text on the ground mainly. It just feels nice. Decent little milestone. 91 hit points pretty much exclusively got in this chunk. Imagine if I hit 99 hit points in one chunk. That would be fucking crazy. Hopefully it doesn't get that far. Um, but at least it would make the hit points cape chunk not too bad, which I believe I can roll. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if I did get that, wouldn't necessarily be the end of the world, would just take a decent chunk of time. Uh, if I did get it next, I'd probably use the chain mace and just max out my melees to get, or nearly max out my melees to get 99 hit points. But, yeah, I mean, that would put me in a pretty good spot, I guess, so... Edging closer to that 99 and multiple level 90s now, which is pretty cool. These fucks just do not leave me alone today, honestly. Why am I in US Worlds? Like, what am I doing? It's just always these gimps. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> oh, I know that what they're doing is fine and designed to occur, but it's just so irritating. Oh, okay. He's got 74 agility, but I thought, I assumed if he had 74, he'd have a potion on him or something, but evidently not. <laughs> I thought for sure I was dead then. Oh shit, I got on the alt. No, he got me on the fucking alt account. Oh. 
I'm so not dealing with going dry well. I'm literally here in the chat trying to like roast bots. I mean, they're not real people. Even the ones that don't teleport, like they're not real people. They don't respond. They don't play like normal. They only kill demons or cyclops. It's clearly just another bot farm. Why am I trying to like guilt trip bots for crashing me? <laughs> Fucking losing it. <laughs> Cannot stop getting one mil totems for love nor money. I swear I must have about 25 of them total now. I really want to get a back-to-back -back drop one time and just, like, kill the second uh, monster and get something else. That would be so cool. How many have we got now? 24. Nearly 25. That is a 24 mil just in those. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Wow. There is 17 million range XP coming in. How many more millions are we going to get? Please, not too many more. I just got one of those kebabs from the sandwich lady. And it just healed me 18 hit points. Is that normal? <laughs> I swear they used to heal me like five or something. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at the screen again. <laughs> what is it with us and getting money? Oh my god, I literally can't... Oh, I look back at the screen to see pink text again. And it was more relics. At least it was the 16 mil one. Oh, look at that. It does look like a thing of beauty. I do not have much food or potions, so I should better grab that and run away. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Moneybags is correct. I am Mr. Moneybags. Right, so we made it back to the bank, no troubles, back up to six of the eighteen of the sixteen mil emblem. That's a pretty juicy cash stack. But I think maybe we're nearly there. Not quite. Nearly got the seven hundred mil bank value. That is massive. Imagine if we make it to a bill on a chunk man and pretty much all of it in basically cash. That would be wild. Oh, and also up to 1,800 bracelets of Ethereum as well, which is, I don't even know how much value that is, probably a lot. 79 mil. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I'm in a dangerous spot right now, and I probably shouldn't have let it happen. Uh, but I'm out of super restores, and I've only got 35 hit points. So if someone gets on me and smites me to death, I'm not entirely sure I'll be able to avoid being smited. <laughs> so hopefully we don't get a peak air on us right now. Hey, I just killed a guy. Things you love to see. Hopefully that's a bot. I uh, can't really tell by seeing that. I didn't get his avarice, which is a bit sad. But we did get some stuff. Nice. Things you love to see. An absolutely huge non-average trip here. We got this gumbo in the invent, but then also 1.1 mil in the looting bag. That is massive. The U seeds and the dragon plate skirts and the dragon long swords. Things you love to see. Hopefully we can have some more trips like that. The dragon plate skirt of all dragon plate skirts trip. Two in the bag and two in the invent as well. 781k in the looting bag. You know, easily another 1.1, 1.2 mil trip. We are flying right now. Oh, when they've got the agility level, it just becomes so much worse. Okay, right, here we go. This is the one. Come on. He splashed. That's fucking good news. He's quite close, though. Might be fucked anyway. We well, might have it, yeah. <laughs> that is foolproof. The jump back, back, and then round the round the uh, rock is foolproof. Love that. Oh, another five hundred k. Come on, let's get the good ones at least. I think this two mil emblem is the only thing that shows up as orange from the rove caves, which is interesting and doesn't make me crap my pants like all the pink ones do. Uh, yeah. Another two mil, nice. Go more than two hours without getting a one mil emblem challenge level impossible. <laughs> Literally can't help but get them. I'm really nearly out of crossbow shots though, so I guess it's a good time to get it because we're heading to the bank anyway. Can I get this one down in 12? Hopefully. Can we get a drop? Hopefully. I really want to get two. I technically did have two in one invent when I got the... 2 mil emblem, which I think was one of the last clips, because I still had the 500k one in my invent at the time. 
So that was the only time I've ever had two unique drops on me at one time. And I forgot to record it before I hit deposit all in the, on the looting bag screen. <laughs> There's this one PKer called Visage Max, right? Who wears like pure gear. And he attacked me once. I hopped away across the shortcut. And he's never attacked me again. He must have spotted me a dozen times. And I run over here every single time. And he never bothers. And he doesn't attack my alternative account, so he can't be because to try and get the hundred k let alone to them do. Respectable, I respect that. Like more PKs like that, please. Like it's so frustrating. The most frustrating ones are the ones I know aren't gonna get me because they don't have the agility level, and I know they don't because they've tried it fifteen times before. They must know they don't because they've tried it fifteen times before, and they still give it a go anyway, and I escape every single time. It is so annoying. Because, like, I can't even get a clip out of that because it's just a foregone conclusion that I'm going to get away. The ones where they've got the agility and I've kind of got to be a bit clever about it, at least I can get a clip about clip out of it. But the the noobs, nothing. So, you know, big shout out to, to uh, Visage Max. Oh, I missed him. He was right there. Oh, oh I nearly got the right click on uh, old Visage Boy. What in the fuck is this? You do not see that gear in the Revenant Caves very often, I can tell you that for free. Oh, another two male emblem, things we love to see. Can't go too wrong with one of those. Go on, back to back. Never lucky. One of these days, one of these days. I just got smited from a fucking crossbow. Oh no. Fuck's sake. Oh, that was so bad. That was so bad. What is this? I know why I'm wiring, you know, this gimpy ass gear. Why is this guy wearing this gimpy ass gear? <laughs> There's no excuse. What is that? Oh, fuck off, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> He's done me there. Oh, uh, why can't that be mine? I just want the mace. <laughs> oh, fuck. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, fuck, he killed me! Oh, God, I let the biggest noob kill me! Because I was too busy typing! Oh, for fuck's sake! I died to the biggest noob ever! Because I... Because... Because I was too busy typing! I had, like, 1.5 mil... In the looting bag as well. Oh no. That guy got me killed. I picked up his mace though. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. Oh, why was I too busy typing? At least I didn't get... Imagine if I got smited for my last crossbow just typing to that guy. Oh my god. I was kind of thinking, right? Now that I've got only one crossbow left and I've got one amulet of avarice left, I'm obviously way... Oh, fuck. I oh, know he's alright, he's 124 combat. Um, yeah, now that I've got an amulet of avarice and, and, a, and a crossbow, but only one of each, I'm obviously way more bothered about losing my crossbow. So I'm thinking maybe I should... Oh my god, won't leave me alone. He's got a good name, yeah, he's got the agility level, fuck's sake. Um, he's only a pure though, so it shouldn't be too bad as long as I can actually get a gap on him. Um... So yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should keep the amulet of avarice as my as my like sort of main thing, because so what I want is to get across again and then run. Don't think that worked. Maybe that worked. Haha. <laughs> okay. So what I'm thinking is if I can keep the avarice, 
like I, I might use that as my thing and, and swap to using a magic short bow instead of the crossbow because if I lose my last crossbow I'm going to be gutted and I'm going to like be wanting to punch myself in the head whereas if I lose my last avarice I'm not that bothered um so I'm a bit gutted that I used all my avarice like I wasted all my avarices just on slightly boost ki boosted kills per hour um but maybe I might try out using a magic short bow and an avarice at um at revenants see what the kills per hour is see if that's better because even though I, I wouldn't then be risking it I'd just be using it in the same way as I use the crossbow right now but maybe I'd have a bit more um a bit more ability to not lose my crossbow which would be a good thing because losing the crossbow would fucking suck um so yeah I'm thinking I might do that but we'll see we'll see Okay, this is the kind of PK where I need to uh, make sure that I keep my prayer up and don't let yeah, myself get clapped. Uh, because the, the, it's just a Void Waker, man. The Void Waker is scary. Uh, this guy does have the prayer level. I uh, does have the agility level, I think. So, Oh, clearly not. Clearly not. Right, let's give the Magic Shortbow and Amulet of Avarice a go and see how we get on. We seem to be hitting okay, actually. I mean, we're 99 range, <laughs> so you'd hope that we'd hit okay. But that was pretty decent. Let's see how we get on. Um, I'm not entirely sure what my max hit is. Clearly over 20, which is nice. 21 is the max hit. And we're hitting quite frequently, to be honest. So this may not be too bad. I need to kind of check out what the kills per hour is. Um, what is nice about this method is that I'll be getting a lot of um, I'll be getting a lot of ether because I'm not using it with my bow anymore, and also I'll be collecting it just passively. Um, and additionally, I will also be getting noted items like manta ray and adi bars and rune bars and rune ore and stuff like that. So that should be very nice as well. So assuming the kills per hour is decent. This should be pretty good for me. And obviously has the added benefit that I'm not risking my crossbow. So <laughs> we'll see. Although I only have eight magic short bows, which isn't good. So yeah, we'll see how we go on. So let's start at 777 and we'll start at 1130. And we'll see how many kills we can get in you know a given period of time. And then calculate that per hour and see how it stacks up to the crossbow. Right, we've just finished 10 minutes, slightly over 10 minutes. Let's see how we got on. So 21 kills, uh, and we need to times that by 6. We could probably call it 20. So we're getting 120 kills per hour using the Magic Short Bow. So it's about two-thirds the rate of the crossbow. The crossbow is uh, 180 kills per hour. So it's not too bad, not too bad, but still not great. I mean, do I want to increase my time here by a third? Probably not, but it is also quite nice for getting the noted supplies. I mean, when, I can, when I've killed this one, I can look in the looting bag. Like, getting the noted supplies like that is very nice. Um, and I do quite like the uh, lack of stress that I have by not having to... Uh, <laughs> worry about it too much um we'll see we'll see yeah i like that i'm that i'm uh you know not risking the crossbow but i also really don't like that i have to pick up the arrows so yeah i'm not sure maybe we'll maybe we'll kind of use them interchangeably like when i need food maybe i'll use this for a bit but yeah i think i'll probably stick the crossbow as the main right here we go. It took us a long, long time, but short of us getting the mace just there, which we didn't, there is 50,000 KC at the Revenants, and we are still missing the Vigora's chain mace. Six scepters, three bows, four avarice, and zero maces. <sighs> One day, are we going to hit? I mean, if we hit 50,000 with zero, for sure, mathematically, we can hit 100,000 with zero. Um, halfway to 100,000 Revenant kills. Um, so 54,000 is exactly when we're going to be hitting three times the rate for the Chain Mace. 
So we're nearly at three times rate, which I guess in terms of multipliers isn't too bad. I mean, I've been three times dry for stuff before, but if you could pick one place not to go dry, I feel like the revenants would be one of them because just the drop rates are so brutal as it is that to go multiples dry on those drop rates is crazy. But there we are. 50,000 kills. That's nuts. That is nuts. So let's take a little look at the bank value uh, now that we have hit, hit 50,000 kills. We are at 707 mil. It would have been higher had I not lost the crossbow uh, not too long ago. What's our uh, what's the value on one of those? 12 mil. So yeah, it would have been 720 mil, but over a 700 mil bank on a one extreme one chunk iron man that is crazy these stacks are getting out of hand nearly up to 700 rune plate legs now that's 26 mils worth 116 dragon plate legs 300 dragon long swords i mean what is that and then obviously the bracelet of ethereum stack is up to 82 and a half mil this is just an insane tab but here's hoping it won't grow too much bigger and we will get the chain mace soon. Now, a quick life update. I'm on trial with a talent management company, and so I want to make sure that my first sponsorship I got, this HelloFresh one, goes really well. So if you're based in the US and you like me enough to have watched this entire mammoth of a video so far, please sign up using the link in the description. Because of the sponsorship on this video, I've got an insane animation being created for the next one. And um, probably the best one, I think the best one that the community is ever going to have seen. And the better my sponsorships do, the more of them I'll get and the more I can invest in terms of time and money into making these videos. And honestly, I use HelloFresh every single week, like for real. And it actually is very, very worthwhile. So I'd really, really appreciate that. I'd also like to give a big shout out to the channel members who, as always, are LS coming at in at the LS tier, the, the, the GOAT himself, Fontcest, Sir Yolo and Taufine at the Amethyst tier, Crito and Fireball Tech at the Rune tier, Elpin in Come Crumpet and Teeters at the Legend tier, and all the gold members, Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, Mitchell Nunley, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Grimzoso, Salnexor, Kai, Hunterman, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim, Papa Brando, Squang, Olivet, Hazmat83, Nilo360, Croporo, Vandio Gaming, Cluey Louie, Asharanka, Dominique G, and Spooky Pasta. Huge thank you to those guys for making all of this possible. I hope you enjoyed this one. 50,000 KC is fucking crazy. Um, gutted I didn't get the chain mace, but I'm confident we will get it soon. Um, it's just at the moment where you feel most helpless and hopeless that... RNG finally comes back to save you. So that saviour should hopefully come soon. The driest I've ever seen anyone go is 63,000 for the Vigorous Chain Mace, and I'm confident we can avoid that. So I'll see you in the next one where hopefully we will have the Chain Mace. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.